Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're going to continue with our discussions on the previous video that we have discussed earlier. So in this case, uh, we're going to, continue, going to continue with our business mathematics for UATM course, uh, chapter 7, that is trade and cash discount. So last time you have looked, we have looked through uh, what it means by trade discount and what it means by chain discount. And we also have gone through uh, how to calculate the net profit, the net payment, uh, net net price and so on, right? And also uh, in the last two videos, we have looked through how to convert the chain discount into a single discount equivalent rate, right? So for today's session, we're going to continue with the cash discount. Okay, we, uh, cash discount. And then uh, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any uh, new videos released in my channel okay and also if you like the video please click on the like button and do share with your friends so that they also can learn from this video all right so without further ado let's just continue with our discussion so today we're going to cover uh, the last section in the trade and cash discount chapters that is the uh, cash discount okay normally uh, last time we have looked through that uh, what it means by trade discount so normally the trade discount is given to the customer who has a good reputation with the wholesalers or the manufacturers and normally it is given to those who buy in a large quantity okay so for the cash discount it is a little bit different whereby in the case of the rate is still the same as what we have done in trade discount is still the same like uh, because the name also is uh, identified that it is a cash discount so that means nothing new uh, based on the previous information when uh, when we deal with trade uh, trade discount so it's still the discount term is still in there right but uh, the situation is that the cash discount is only apply if payment is made within certain period of time okay so in other words if trade discount is given to those who have good reputation with the manufacturers or the uh, wholesalers the cash discount itself give the opportunity to those uh, who pay the bills promptly or pay the bills in certain time okay what well, it means here it is something that the, the the manufacturer or the wholesalers try to make sure that the payment is made uh, is being made earlier than it's supposed to be okay so this is what it means by the cash discount so basically it has a limitation whereby the limitation for a cash discount to be applied is basically the time frame okay the time the durations okay so in the slide itself it says that wholesalers or manufacturers and even the retailers after reduction on the amount due to customer who pay their bills within a stipulated period of time so in this case this is what i just mentioned just now meaning that if the customer sorry if the retailers or those who purchase the product pay within certain uh, time they will be given an extra discount okay an extra discount and this extra discount is what we call as the cash discount okay so the cash discount sometimes will also be referred as cash discount term okay cash discount term or sometimes we call it as a credit terms okay so in this case it comprises of certain uh, certain discount rate and the duration for example in this case uh, if you see in the slide it says that a supplier offer 5 slash 10 and slash 20 so what it says here the first value before the slash okay before the slash symbol the 5 slash 10 so the 5 there referring to the rate or the discount rate in this case the cash discount rate 
So it means that five meaning that it is a 5% cash discount rate. Whereby the values after the slash that is 10. Okay, so 5 slash 10. So that means the 10 there referring to the number of days or the period. Okay, the period where the 5% can be applied. So when we talk about 5 slash 10, it means that 5% discount is given for payment that is made within the first 10 days from the invoice date. Okay, so from the invoice date. So that means if the invoice dated on the 1st of May, so that means the last day for you to uh, realize the 5% discount will be the 10th of May. So that is the within the first 10 days, right? Okay, and then the second part then you have N slash 20. So N here referring that a full payment. Okay, when you say N, it is referred to the full payment. Or in other words, in this case, when you have N slash 20, the N there referring that there is no discount will be given. So it means that full payment is due. And slash 20 meaning to say that the full payment is due within 20 days from the invoice date. Okay, 20 days from the invoice date. So what happened between uh, the days 11 until 20? So in this case, if you pay within the days of 11, until the 20th day so there will be no discount given and you have to pay in full payment okay you have to pay in full payment what happened if after 20 days has passed but the payment has not been made yet so in this case the supplier or the manufacturer or the wholesalers may impose a penalty to the buyer Okay, to the buyer. So in this case, the buyer may be in the form of the retailers. All right. So that means they may impose a penalty for late payment. Okay, there will be a late payment charge. So that is basically the situation. Okay. So most business to business transaction begins with a purchase order from a buyer that identify the goods ordered and they agreed upon the price and the delivery terms. And then the purchase order may be written or verbal. So it depends whether it is in terms of a written uh, document or a verbal conversation. Alright. So this is the situation. So in this case, if you talk about cash discount, the discount is only applicable if the payment is being made within certain period of time. Okay. Comparing with the trade discount, trade discount is given automatically. It doesn't have a limitation in terms of the time frame. So for trade discount, if you are entitled for a trade discount, it is automatically deducted from the list price. Okay. And the cash price is uh, the cash discount is only applicable after you have deducting the uh, amount from the trade discount. So that means if you already have the trade discount, when you uh, deduct the trade discount amount, you get the net price. So the cash discount will be applied to the net price. If there exists prior to the cash discount, there exists a trade discount. Right? So that is the situation. Okay, uh, so business frequently offer cash discount as a way to encourage their business customer to pay their invoice early. So this is the main reason why the cash discount is being uh, introduced okay, in day-to-day -day business. All right? So that is the situation. Okay, so basically this is the things that you need to know under the cash discount. So what it means by the term of sale? So term of sale specify how and when an invoice will be paid. So this is the situation if you remember the comic, the cartoon between Romy and Julie. It has a specific information when the payment has to be made. Okay. And Romy said to Julie, uh, as usual, she can pay within 30 days. Okay. They can pay within 30 days. 
but if she paid early not more than 20 days after the date of invoice then she will receive another uh, discount that is the cash discount so this is what we call as the term of sales all right okay the time a purchaser has to pay a bill usually between 30 to 90 days so it depends sometimes you have 30 days sometimes you have until 90 days okay it's called the credit period so this is called the credit period so credit period is basically the duration that is given by the manufacturer to the purchaser for making the payment so it can be between 30 to 90 days it depends okay so as mentioned earlier as an example a supplier offer the terms of 5 10 and 20 so which means that a five percent discount is given to for payment within 10 days and then the full payment is due 20 days from the date of the invoice okay so this is a sample of invoice and the sample invoice you can see uh, the invoice date in this case for the first one in this barber shop supply you can see that this is the invoice date and then they have the terms so this is what we call as the cash terms okay cash discount terms all right ataupun sales term point of sales term eh? so this is the date and then you have the term 2 slash 10 and slash 13 so which means that if the payment is made within 10 days from the date of may 11 then uh, thomas muller will have a extra discount of two percent otherwise if he pay after the 10th day that means uh, between 11 to the 30th day then he has to pay the full amount and the full amount here is 1000 okay which means that if he uh, thomas muller pay within the first 10 days he will he will get another two percent discount from the 1000 so that means two percent from 1000 is 20 ringgit so that means he will be paying he will be paying about nine uh, 980 ringgit only if he pay within 10 days from the date of may 11 Okay, this is uh, an example on the right hand side also you have another example from the everyday texture to the farewell paint paints all right so you have the order number you have the date entered and then date ship and then you have the invoice date that is um, 10 of june okay 10 of june and then you have the term of sale so the term of sale here have three term of sale so you have 210 130 and n60 so which means that two percent discount will be granted if payment is made within the first 10 days and then one percent discount will be granted if payment is made between the 11th day until the 30th day from the date of invoice okay and then uh, full payment is due within 60 days and no discount is given if payment is made between the 31st day until the 60th day if payment may be uh, after the 60th days then a penalty may be imposed okay so this is the these are the two example from uh, sample of invoice related to cash discount okay so let's continue with uh, a little bit of uh, example in this case. So it says that if the customer pays the invoice within the discount period and deduct a cash discount from the invoice price, the amount paid is called the cash price. Okay, the amount paid is called the cash price. Or sometimes it is just simply the amount, net amount paid. So simple as that, right? So this is example 5, uh, March 2016. It stated here that a washing machine that cost 3000 is given a trade discount of 20%, 15%. Okay, so you have a trade discount of 20% and 15%. And then a further 3% cash discount will be given if it paid it is paid within 5 days. So the question right now find the total discount obtained if the payment is made within the cash discount period. So that means it says that uh, the payment is made within the five days so that means he will, uh, this person will get the 
trade discount 20% and 15% automatically and on top of that he will also receive the 3% cash discount so in this case you have three discount rate here so finding the net price so you have the net price to be lp 1 minus d1 that is the trade discount 20% 1 minus d2 trade discount 15% and 1 minus c the cash discount okay the formula will continue with plus ad if there exists any additional charges for example let's say uh, transportation charges handling charges and so on okay but in this case we just omit the plus ad over here okay so hence in this case we get the net price to be 3000 1 minus 20 percent 1 minus 15 percent and 1 minus 3 percent because the payment is made within the cash discount period so uh, he is entitled for the three percent discount so calculating the net price you get the net price to be 1978 point zero okay so that is the net price and to find the total discount is simply by taking the list price minus the net price okay so taking the list price 3000 minus the net price 1978.8 so you get here the total discount to be 1021 ringgit and 20 cent Okay, so this is what we call as the net payment or the total amount paid. Okay. Alright, so that is uh, an example of the cash price. The next slides that we're going to see here is just uh, an information related to trade discount and cash discount. What is the pros and what are the difference and so on. So I guess this one you can just read through by yourself and try to understand it okay so just go through it going through it very fast so the right hand side you have the trade discount and cash discount so in trade discount it is a reduction granted by a supplier from the list price on goods meanwhile a cash discount it is a reduction granted from the invoice price in consideration of immediate payment okay in consideration of immediate payment Okay, uh, another information regarding the trade discount, it is done to promote the sales. However, for cash discount, it is done to encourage early or prompt payment. So that is, uh, that are some of the informations uh, comp comparing the trade discount and cash discount. Okay. Okay, let's continue with the next one. So the next one is an example okay which include transportation costs and other charges how are we going to solve this problem okay the problem stated that an invoice dated 11 march 2016 for 5300 inclusive of 500 transportation charge was paid on 31st march 2016 so if the trade discount were 20% and 15% and the discount term were 510, 430 and 60, fine. First, you have to find the trade discount offered. And then the second one, the cash discount if entitled, whether it's entitled for any cash discount or not. And lastly, the amount paid. Okay, so we're going to look at this one by one. Okay, so let's see how we can solve this problem. So for the first one, there are two methods you can solve the problems to find the trade discount. First by finding the single discount equivalent rate first and then uh, just find the uh, trade discount offered directly. So if you are look, uh, if you find determine the single discount equivalent rate first, you have R is equal to 1 minus. 1 minus 0 0.2, 1 minus 0 0.15, so you get this to be 0 0.32. And then straight away, you multiply the LP, the list price, with the single discount equivalent rate, that is 0 0.32. So you have the amount to be 1536. And bear in mind here, there exists some, uh, something here. You can see that we have 5300 minus 500. Why? Okay, why we have to minus 500 because the 5300 bill, uh, bill or the invoice amount of 5300 is already included the 
transportation cost. Okay, so that means the transportation cost in order to calculate the trade discount, this cost have be, has to be taken out first because the trade discount is not applicable to transportation. So any additional charges is not applicable for a trade discount amount. Okay, a trade discount rate. So the trade discount is only applicable to the lease price. So to get the lease price, you have to take out the uh, transportation charges from the invoice price so that's why you have here 5300 minus 500 so this will give you the list price to be 4800 and multiply with 0 0.32 you get 1536 to be the trade discount okay and then uh, there's also another solution so you can also use the direct solution without finding the single discount equivalent rate by using the net price formula okay direct formula for the net price that is lp1 minus d1 1 minus d2 so instead of using a single d so you have d1 and d2 so again you find the np to be 3264 and then take the difference between the list price and the net price so you get the trade discount amount 1536 same as the previous method okay all right so the second part asks you if there exists any uh, if uh, he entitled for any cash discount or not okay so in this case it is entitled for a cash discount why because if you look through here the payment is being made on the 31st March 2016 and the date of invoice is 11 March 2016 so between 11 March 2016 to 31st March 2016 31 minus 11 you get 20 days okay you get 20 days so that means it is not entitled for 5% because 5% is only within the 10 days but it is entitled for the 4% cash discount because 4% cash discount is applicable if the payment is being made between the 11th day until the 30th day so in this case he uh, the payment was made within the 20 days okay in 20 uh, in the 20th days so that means 4% cash discount is entitled okay so it's given, it's granted to be, uh, it's granted, uh, it is granted 4% um, cash discount towards the net price. So the cash discount, so to find the cash discount, simply take the net price, multiply with the cash discount rate. So the net price is 3264 from the previous example, uh, from, from the solutions. So you have 3264. Multiply with 4% cash discount, you get 130.56. Okay, 130.56. Okay, so that is the cash discount. And the last question asks you to find the amount of payment. So the amount of payment, so in this case, you have two methods can be applied. So you have the list price minus the amount of trade discount minus the amount of cash discount plus again the transportation cost if exists so in this case 500 5, minus 500 to get the lease price and then minus the trade discount amount 1536 minus the cash discount amount 130.56 and then add again the 500 transportation cost okay so you get the value to be 3633.44 or you can straight away using the net price formula okay or in this case a net payment formula okay it's better for you to use the net payment or net not to confuse with the net price okay okay net payment the net payment in this case ok 
Okay, the net payment is simply equal to the list price 1 minus D1, 1 minus D2 and then 1 minus C, the cash discount. So you have two trade discount just now, 20% and 15% and then you are also entitled for the 4% cash discount, C over here and then plus any additional charges. So in this case, the additional charges is the transportation cost. So you have 530 multiply 1 minus 0 0.2 same as before so you get again the the values here to be 3633.44 same as the previous solution okay so that is how you find the uh, you solve the problems related to trade discount and cash discount concepts right so hopefully this will clear some of your confusion so that you can uh, and hopefully you can get some ideas on how to solve the problems related to these topics all right so i think uh, that's it for the for today's sessions for the video series on the slide pre presentation until we meet again on the next video related to the same topic maybe in the next video i'm gonna do some of the past semester exam papers questions all right so until that all the best to all of you thank you for listening and if you still uh, you are if you are new in this channel so do subscribe to my channel and do cl uh, click the like button if you like the videos and also click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new videos release uh, on this channel okay so thank you very much all the best and have a nice day until we meet again in the next video thank you